Hi, my name is Laura Batante, and this is my YouTube channel, My Two Bits. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to make this really cute little reindeer uh, ornament, all ready for Christmas. And um, I use, uh, well, toilet paper roll, of course, but also cardstock. And it's the kind of cardstock that you would use for craft. Um, for scrapbooking. So um, you don't have to go to the craft store to get it. You can get that at the do some dollar stores and they're like 12 by 12 sheets usually. Um, quite reasonable, especially at the dollar store. And I used brown and beige and a little bit of red for his nose because I want it grew off. And then um, you can get some embellishments. You could add a little ribbon like I have here. I actually would have used a little bit smaller one, but I didn't have one. Um, you could put a little bell on. You could use a pom-pom for his nose if you liked. And once again, as always, you could use googly eyes. Um, the other thing is, is that I have attached the PDF file that is the template for this project right in the notes. So you can find that uh, just below me if you look for it. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I did was I took my toilet paper roll and I cut it down to about an inch because that's all I want to use. This strip is an inch or 2.5 centimeters. This strip is two inches by six inches, which is the same as approximately five centimeters by 15.5. Um, I do that because as you know, if you've done any of my other projects with me, I don't particularly like to see the toilet paper roll once I have it wrapped. Um, if I'm looking down. So that's why I just use it for strength and to help with the shape. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to glue the whole thing so that we get it stuck on there really nice. And then I'm going to put my little paper belt on to hold it in place uh, so that I don't have to sit here and hold it forever. Okay, and I should mention, I did say that I would put the PDF right in the notes. Um, as always, you can go to my website, um, which is really just a place for me to park other crafts. Um, for some reason, I didn't put glue all the way up the top. I wasn't thinking. Um, yeah, so you can as I say, you could go to my website, my2bits.ca, and also get the template there, and then you can um, see some of the other projects. Or else, you could subscribe to my channel, and you would get to see all of them. All right, there we go. Line that up. And then, like I said, I like to put a little belt on, hold that guy in place. So when you're gluing to a curve, it can be a little bit stubborn. Well, by stubborn, you just need a little bit of time is all for it to dry. So that's what I like to do this and then I don't have to worry about it. I also use paper clips sometimes. That's another good one, but because I want this to glue all the way around, um, just putting a paper clip here where it's attaching isn't going to be quite enough. So there we go. So now we'll let that just sit and dry for a bit and we'll cut out the other parts. Okay, so I have all my bits cut out and we're ready to go. And um, you may have noticed while you were cutting out my little deer here that um, these are hand-drawn. I don't... Um, create them on the computer and like mirror image them. So they aren't perfect and they aren't meant to be perfect. I actually like the organicness of having them uh, be a little bit different. So if you want your antlers to be identical, you could take one, <clears throat> excuse me, and you could, uh, you know, cut out two of the exact same one, but I like them being different. So that's how I do it. Gives them a little character. And then, again, you can um, put them on how you like. I always stick one up a little bit farther. Again, because I don't like it to be exact. And so that's the um, head with the antlers put on. And 
Um, I'm haven't undone my belt yet, so we'll just see how that is. This is his chest, so that's going to go on opposite the seam at the back. And then for the nose, now what I did with this little guy right here was I put a couple of chunks of the leftover toilet paper roll. I just cut it up and glued it together and, and um, then I glued the nose on to give it a little bit of um, texture and whatnot. You could also use, if you have pop dots, if you do a lot of crafting, particularly scrapbooking, you might have these pop dots and that makes it super duper easy. But otherwise, just a chunk of cardboard in behind um, is perfect and that way you can just add a little bit of dimension to him. Also, like I said, um, oh geez, did I say it earlier? Um, oh, well, I'll say it again. You could totally use um, a pom-pom here and glue that on or a little bead, um, like a flat bead, anything that you like, you could totally use. And then we're gonna pop his eyes on with a pen. And um, you can, of course, use the stencil for placement if you like, or you can just eyeball it. Would it surprise you to know that I also don't put the eyes even? Okay, so uh, let's take this off and hopefully we're all stuck, that would be great. All right, so the seam is there and I'm gonna put his chest here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend the cardboard. Um, if you made my little squirrel, then you know that I did it the same thing. It's just to help it um, you know, be flat against the curve of the toilet paper roll. Alrighty, so like I said, kind of opposite the seam at the back, doesn't have to be 100%. We're gonna put the little tail back there and I don't want the tail to be right on the seam. You don't really notice the tail that much unless you look at it sideways a bit, but this is cute, so I did it. Okie doke, looking good. And, and then we're going to attach the head and I did the exact same thing with the head. Um, so we're going to use either cardboard or pop dots or something like that just to give it a little dimension and that way you can put the ribbon on. Okay, so now we're just going to put some either uh, of the cardboard or uh, the pop dots. I'm using the pop dots here uh, on this particular part because I know the adhesion is really good and I happen to have them, but like I said, um, you can use the cardboard, it works perfectly fine and um, you don't have to do this but I think um, that if it, it looks great with this added little bit of dimension um, again you'll see I put his head a little bit crooked and that depth right there is what allows you to um, put the ribbon on and I see I could have put that just a hair lower so I don't think it matters but I don't really want to see the white in behind come on Rudy okay there we go I think that's pretty good and then uh, like I said for the tail we just gonna um, put that around back Okay, and so all he needs now is his ribbon. Now I find this part um, probably a, the hardest part. It's a little bit awkward. So I actually cut myself a pretty good sized chunk, which isn't my favorite thing to do just because it's a bit wasteful. But um, if you happen to be good at tying bows, uh, maybe you can do it without too much problem and 
Oi. There we go. And I did say earlier, I would have used a little bit smaller ribbon if I had some. Usually I have a lot of ribbon. I don't know how it's possible. I don't have that particular size right now, but clearly with it coming into Christmas, I'm going to have to... Ah! It's making me crazy. I can't tell you how much it's bothering me that that bow is currently bent like that. But I'm going to let it go because you don't want to watch me fuss around with that. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off here. And there he is. Super easy to do. Very cute. I think the kids will really enjoy it. And um, yeah, not hard to do. And you could certainly do a whole row. You could do all of Santa's reindeers. Just remember, they don't all get the red nose. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel. I am going to be posting a lot of Christmas crafts in the next little while. And um, once again, thanks for watching.